Hello, it's Ruby and today I'm going to be filming a reset day. I had two essays due in a few days ago, like yesterday and the day before, and as a result the last two weeks have just been really hectic with studying and doing loads of work and I've ended up putting some admin tasks and like cleaning, decluttering on the back burner and so today I just want to get on top of all of that and um, tick some things off that I've been meaning to tick off. It's currently 10 o'clock and I've spent this morning from 7 till 10 just doing some writing because I haven't really been able to spend much time doing that over the last few weeks and um, I really wanted to. Made a to-do list, very aesthetic to-do list I must say, and it's separated into admin, cleaning and decluttering and then I'll probably add things to these to-do lists as I go along. So I'm going to start by cleaning out some things that I've left outside my room which I really shouldn't have left outside. I brought all my stuff upstairs that have been like around the house but I haven't put it anywhere I just put it outside my door so I need to actually go through that. It's really embarrassing. Look at that pile of things. So I started off by clearing out those things outside my bedroom and then I decided to do a big clothes declutter which I have been really meaning to do over the last few months. I know that I have an obscene amount of clothes. Some of this clothing is maybe nine years old. I went through everything that was in the loft and I refolded, organised it and that massive checked laundry bag at the back is everything that I was getting rid of which is actually quite a lot I think. So then next I decided to organise my underwear and socks drawers because these had again got extremely messy, embarrassingly so, and I um, just again like decluttered, sorted through my socks. Also used these cloth bags, I love using cloth bags for organising. So here is the sock drawer I just organised and I am so happy with how it looks. So I have got the things I wear most often here, so ballet tights and then trainer socks in these two and then I've got walking socks, ankle socks and like fun socks, knee high socks and tights here and it's just so much more organised and it looks so much better. Okay, I've got a massive laundry bag which is overfilling of things that I'm actually going to get rid of. I never get rid of clothes, I'm such a clothes hoarder, you can probably tell from my wardrobe. But I'm finally going to get rid of some stuff and I'm also going to try on some bits and put some stuff into my wardrobe that was in the loft, like summer clothes that I want to transition in, so yeah, let's go. So I absolutely love this top, like I love the design of it, I think it's got such a gorgeous collar and it looks so nice under jumpers, it's just so pretty. It's just too tight on the arms and so I'm gonna sell this over on Depop. I literally am so gutted that it does not fit me. So when I got this I didn't like it like from as soon as I got it. I got it second hand and I just did not really like the way it looked on me. I actually kind of like it now. Then I was back on the clothing. I wanted to sort out this main compartment of my wardrobe because I hadn't done that for a while so I took out all of my hanging clothes and then went through everything individually and put it back. Okay, it's now four o'clock and I have finally finished that massive declutter of my wardrobe and um, my clothes in the loft mainly. So this is what my wardrobe is looking like now. I mean, it doesn't look that different, but I think it does look a lot cleaner. Next, I want to sort through these sticky notes because I have so many and they're just not organized at all. And I know I have ones in here that I don't use, so I'm gonna go through them. So 
I had a snack break. I love these protein bars from Misfit Protein. Then I did some cleaning. So I dusted my beams, which again, I haven't done in quite a long time. And this did take quite a long time. Like I procrastinate doing this because it is just such a time consuming job. It took me about 15, 20 minutes to dust the beams in their entirety. I also wiped down my bedside table and hoovered in my bedroom. My picnic basket was downstairs from when I'd had a picnic with my mum a couple days before so I put that back in my bedroom and refilled it with all of my snacks because I used the picnic basket to store snacks in my bedroom. Then I disinfected my desk so I just cleaned everything off first of all and then used this surface spray to wipe it down. I really like to disinfect my desk fairly regularly because I use it so much it's not very sanitary to be using that desk every single day and then not disinfect it. Then I wrote up a to-do list of everything I need to do for university. I will add to this over the course of the week, but I just what I just used some washi tape to stick that above my desk so that I could refer to it throughout the week. And then finally I emptied my bin, which needed emptying, and I just put so all of our paper recycling goes over here. And then we use this other bin for other recyclables. Um, most of my rubbish is paper and remedy drink cans because these are the most amazing drinks ever. I am loving the coconut water kefir at the moment, but I also love the passion fruit kombucha. And then I just lined that with a carrier bag. If you didn't know, I am a massive musicals fan. My favourite's Matilda. I also love Dear Evan Hansen and Annie. I love watching musicals. I'm going to do one of Kyra Pro's workouts. I've been loving her greatest showman ones especially so i think i'm gonna do one of those and yeah just gonna quickly get changed into something else because this is fleeced so i'm gonna get so hot in this if i wear this i got ready for my very fun dance class this was literally so much fun i don't usually like dancing but dancing to a musical soundtrack is a completely different thing this is the workout i ended up doing if you're interested i just finished that and it was so much fun i did the frozen one and well i did half of the frozen one and then i also did the greatest showman part three one and they were both really good um i need to make dinner now though so i'm making a couscous dish for dinner um but i'm gonna have one of these pink wafers as a snack mm, oh my gosh that was so good It's in the system, it's in our blood, you cannot... Good morning. I was only going to do yesterday, but I think I'm going to film this morning too because I retrospectively don't think I actually got that much footage. So here we are next day. Again, I started the morning with some writing and then I also got all of my basic admin tasks done in the morning, but the clips actually weren't that exciting, so I didn't think I'd share them. Next, I wanted to go downstairs and clear the kitchen. My parents were on a walk together and... I cleared the table first of all because it was a little bit cluttered and just wiped it down and disinfected it. I also cleared the island and I had left my popcorn machine and also wiped my waffle iron out on the side which I'm not supposed to do so I cleared those away. Also, we just got some popcorn kernels and so I transferred those into a jar. Quite unsuccessfully, as you can see, I managed to get them all over the countertop. Oops. And then I just wiped down and disinfected the sides. My mum usually does this and so I kind of, I just wanted to surprise her by having it done by the time she got back. Then I emptied the dishwasher. And my dad had mentioned that morning that we really needed to go through the nut basket. We have like a whole basket in our cupboard, which is just for nuts. And so 
I went through that here. So this is the nut drawer I organized, like how it ended up looking. I just lined up all of the bags here. Then there are kind of like raisins, wasabi peas, and snacking nuts, and then loads of almonds down here that my mum uses for baking. In this Ziploc bag, there are raisins again. As you can see, we do have quite a lot of nuts. Um, everyone in my family really likes nuts, and it's like one of the main snacks that we go for. And then next, I did some more organization in the library. So yeah, this library is not very organized and a lot of the books are double stacked. And so I'm trying to do a little bit every week in getting it reorganized because that's kind of my job at the moment. And so I did some work on this for about like 45 minutes to an hour and it is really good fun, but it is quite tiring. So then after that, I did I did end up reorganizing our food cupboard, but I didn't get any clips of me actually doing that. So I'm just gonna show you the final product. I also organized all of the baking bits here. I need to wipe that down still though. So I put flour here and then more flour and baking bits here like yeast and baking powder. And then all of these are like alternative flours. And then in here there are sugars and sweeteners. So um, for example, dates, that's what I tend to use to sweeten my things when I'm baking. And like icing sugar, jam sugar, chocolate chips. Yeah, I'm very happy with how that looks. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you have a productive week.